time to go help Jesse. And to make sure his cherry chocolate almond smoothies topped off. Do you need some more? Only got half you should of it. finish it. I only got half of it on my face. Really? I got a lot on my so. face too. <laughs> What's in this? Besides Cherries, delicious. almond extract, chocolate powder, raw milk, and coconut oil. I'm not cheating on you coffee stands. I'm just saying <laughs> that if Alyssa can make an equal beverage at home, Today is an extremely big day. In addition to sweating our butts off, we have some other exciting things to do. Our uh, concrete contractor friend said if you water, it either keeps the dust down, helps you excavate, or both. Right now, I'm watering all this just to keep the dust from swallowing us alive. The grizzly is gonna go right here-ish. I need Kay. to make a plan because our excavation mark is actually on the other side of that tree. Really? which makes me cry a little. But we're gonna do some double checking of all of our measurements. And then I've watered all that for what, three, over three hours now, mm -hmm. almost four hours. It's pretty mushy on top. <laughs> that water needs to get down yep. in there. So correct me if I'm wrong, but together we still need to go mark our four corners, right? Yeah. That's... And then Alyssa's being turned loose on electrical stuff. Yeah, we already, the, the stakes weren't taken down, just the uh -huh. string, so we okay. don't keep choking ourselves on it. Yep. Um, yeah, so we'll put the string back up, Yep. and then we'll need to use the laser level and a couple of levels to figure out, just double check where our corners are and set a stake. We have stakes here, which tell us how far this way to go, but we don't have like side stakes that we need to mark off, so. A little more planning is necessary before we start digging. Really quick, when deciding where exactly to put the house, instead of just like, you know, in this general area, we really want the front of the house to mimic the line or the same angle as the hot tub deck. There's a couple of reasons we like to do this this way. One, we want the property to kind of have some sort of continuity. Um, but we have a great view and that's why we aligned the deck the way we did and then the way the hillside is shaped is actually very conducive to putting the house actually at an angle to the hillside but parallel to the deck so what we did was ran a string from the far corner of the deck and used it to make a parallel line following the deck out to a unspecified point far enough that we can use it as a reference line and then we're using that to create a parallel line out on the property. Now we have two parallel lines. We can now use that to create a square, which we will use to excavate. In determining how far back to set the house, we know that the back wall height is 10 feet, eight inches. So we don't want to we don't want to put the house back further than we need to because obviously we already have a lot of excavation to do. We basically have to cut this whole hillside back to here. So to help us make sure we understand this in our heads, we put a small flag where 10 feet 8 inches would be. We don't want to be this high because you don't want the dirt to go right up to the wood on your house. You want it to stay below the wood onto the concrete face. So this flag represents 10 feet 8 inches of elevation gain from the lower piece of property. We'll excavate at least this far back. We're going to probably have to slope this dirt because it's very unstable. Actually, it's very stable. That's not true. I won't say yep. that. It is actually very stable, but we're gonna have to slope it a little bit just so it doesn't become unstable like our cistern trench did. Good troll moderation. <laughs> yes. Take that, you trolls. <laughs> I foiled the trollage. We clamped small pieces of wire onto the string as a reliable way to keep measurements. And this string represents the beginning of the wall on the house, not the footing. So the footing is actually gonna come out over here. But we did this to try to help align the house by taking a known measurement that we felt comfortable with over here and then measuring the width of the house to this direction. One primary consideration about not bumping the house too close to the plumbing system is the ability to get an excavator in. The odds of that ever happening are very, very, very low with all the double encasing and poly, etc. But never say never. So we left enough width that a mini excavator should be able to get in there if we ever needed to trench or dig. As you know, digging on this property, this deck is level. So we're gonna use that to shoot a line that can be picked up over there on the flat spot as well as up here. And if we drop a plumb line down, we can set a stake 
and then we'll need to measure level out. If we measure at an angle, we're gonna get a skewed measurement because it's too long. Uh, Alyssa is gonna stand up here and help me to measure out so that we've got the correct depth. I'm Philippon Bob. So we're gonna drop a line from this down to the ground so we can drive a stake, which will make our lives much easier for measuring. Now we're standing in our, what is soon to be our bedroom, right on the yeah. side. <laughs> Off of this. So what we need to do is figure out what the height of this is over the laser level. And then when I go down to the bottom, I'm gonna adjust my laser level up and that'll tell me that I'm measuring in a truly straight line from point A to point B out into space. That way we're getting a true measurement. Just for practice, we squared our measurements to the deck. So now we know where roughly square is out here on the flat spot. Which we don't need to know for the excavation, but Alyssa wanted to practice. It's helpful to know, it's not deathly critical. We don't need to know exactly square, because this rock, we don't dig to the inch in this rock, we dig to the foot. So yeah. we're gonna get as precise as we can, but. So we're done with all that. Just doing some last minute watering. Yeah, the sprinkler is not very precise. And this is a lot easier to get yeah. right where I want it to go. <laughs> so yeah, the corners are all marked out of the footing. So we know the absolute minimum that we have to excavate, which we want to do. Over excavation is something we were warned about. It's a common problem, especially with owner builders. You dig too deep and it costs you a lot more money. For example, we did one calculation on the footing we'll show it later but it's called a step down footing so below the grade where the footing will be protected from frost not out here where it would be exposed to frost we're not going to put a frost wall back there it's going to be simply a footing the will the wall will be built on the footing and the slab will sit on top of the footing also that one small change which would be prevented by not over excavating will save us around $1,000 in construction costs. ICFs, yeah, and concrete, never mind the labor. So we have to be very strategic with our excavation just to save ourselves effort, money, time, all of the above. So Jesse's gonna play magical trucks, backhoe, and grizzly and begin the excavation, which is kind of a one-man job. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some string through our electrical conduit and then I'm gonna try to finish all the electrical connections and potentially mount a couple of boxes so that we can completely backfill the trench because right now we're still waiting on electrical.
<laughs> when it goes, it goes. Right? It's not gonna go, it's not gonna go. You can feel it like going, it's like burping and then it's like... That was like my fourth bag iteration. Hey, what's the trick? What'd you figure out? I've always used like a plastic bag, so what's so, this? A shopping bag's way too big, a Ziploc bag is too big. It's like so a I spice cut the bag? End off. No, I cut the end off. Oh. <coughs> and then I Genius. cut more of it off. Yeah, it has that to be way. like a balloon size. And you can't blow air in there, I tried. Oh, okay. So, thanks for the help. Good job! There's certain things that we really just need two people to do, otherwise you just spend a phenomenal amount of time like yeah. back forth, back forth, back forth, like what run am I even there. doing nope, with my life? Nope, didn't go, run over here, suck, yep. suck, suck, run over there, nope, didn't go, run over here, suck, suck, suck. Yeah. Are you like pulling on it just a little bit too? Like to kind of get it to move a little no, bit? No, once thing? it goes, like woof, huh. it goes. Huh. Okay. So. Cool. I've excavated. Yep. See how much dirt we have sitting here. Right. Doing good though. A lot of this dirt's gonna have to go somewhere else because it's not gonna get filtered. I just smashed the grizzly, one rock. Really? Go go film that rock when you get a second over there. That's probably a 450 pound rock. That's it dropped it on there and it smashed the bottom board off wow. completely. Like one that. rock. Okay. Anyway, so going good. I'm about to a stopping point. Um, I don't want to excavate that because I want to leave it there so we can backfill that trench hopefully tomorrow with dirt from this excavation. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, going well. I'm actually shocked how much soil is in there. I'm impressed. Yeah, so it turns out all the rock, well, there's still a lot of rock in there. Don't be yeah. full up. I've pulled rocks out of there that big so far. Uh, but it turns out most of the rock's up top. Yep. I mean, it's rocky, don't get me wrong. But there's some dirt in there. There's yeah, some real brown, real brown dirt. Holy cannoli. <laughs> no wonder why. That thing's freaking huge. Here's the size of my hand. My goodness. So I think we're actually getting close to a stopping point for the evening. We still have a lot of errands to do and chores to do. So try to get to bed at a reasonable hour and be back at it again tomorrow. Clean up, yuck. Trying to get all this moved to make room for more dirt. This is such a classic example of out of sight, out of mind. <sighs> this is all the cedar that we tried to keep. In the what hot do we even want to do, burn it? Yeah, it's, it needs to just go in the hot tub. Like, I don't know why we were saving it. Because one day. We might need it. Because maybe one day. Any final thoughts on the end of day one? Feeling pretty good. Yeah. Definitely need to give the backhoe a quick check over, make sure all the oil's good, fluids are good. A lot of work Tires work. are good. <laughs> yeah. No, everything's good. Moving a lot of dirt. I feel under the gun, but I'm glad we got started today than tomorrow morning. <sighs> so. And I'm glad we have a backhoe. Right, and we're not renting, so we're gonna go get dinner because the clock's not ticking. Yep. I mean, it is ticking, but it's not ticking on the equipment, so. What about you? How's your energy from the day? I think today felt chaotic. I felt like I was trying to do 10 million things at once, and I you felt are. like I got nothing done. But I actually did get a lot done. There's just a lot of little things. I think yeah. it was frustrating. I couldn't tackle electrical on my own. Yeah. But Teamwork, it's okay. Teamwork's good. Just because yeah. you can't do something alone doesn't mean it was a it was a yep. failure. Um, I felt like tools were scattered everywhere and I don't know. We try our best to stay organized, but yeah. just trying to do too many things today. And it's hard because we do feel under the gun. So we're trying to do a lot. Yep. And everything's all layered. Everything's stitched yep. together. You can't just do one task. You can't do this because of that. Yep. And that can't be done because of that. So now you feel like you're running all over to get a lot of things done. Yeah. So it's good. Get used to it. <laughs> hey, you got to have a smoothie today. Had you got to have water kefir with apricot juice today. Yep. Yummy. Which I feel guilty over because oh, it's like you. two seconds spent not working, but yeah. I say let's clean up, but I'm so dirty. And we Cabin's forgot we, dirty. And we forgot we had a drone. We did, yeah. Turns Flew out the drone again. everything's misplaced and had to yep. figure out how to fly the thing all over again. Got it but... all the way up in the air, forgot a memory card. Ah, ah. See what I mean? Just chaos, chaos, chaos everywhere. Folks, if you appreciate the drone footage, thank Alyssa. <laughs> she went through quite a bit. But don't thank me like too much. 
Because then it goes to my head. Yeah. Like just every once in a while. You went through a lot to get that darn <laughs> drone in the air today. Yeah. yeah. Tires are flat, out of gas, all kinds of stuff. <laughs>